Hello, Mathacking community. Mr. Chantry here, your neighborhood planetarium director. With something neat that you can see in the sky here in early January that's not a drone. Um, so here we are. We're looking in the sky on Monday, January 13th. This is at about 6 p.m. and we're looking south. First thing you'll notice, there are a few really bright planets here in the sky. We have Saturn and Venus getting ready to set here towards the west uh, right around 8 p.m. Jupiter will be shining high and bright up in the sky there. And if we look a little bit further over to our east, we'll see our almost completely full moon and the planet Mars. And this is what we're going to want to look at here. This is the really, really neat occurrence. So if we look here, this is about 6 p.m. on Monday, January 13th. And it looks like the moon and Mars are very close to each other in the sky. This is what we call conjunction. When two things in the sky are close to each other, we say that they're in conjunction with each other. But when we look up at the sky, when we see the stars, the planets, and the moon, we think of them as very stationary. And we know that all of the stars and planets and the moon rise and set because of the Earth's rotation. But actually, all of these things are moving in space. And we'll get an opportunity to actually see some of this motion in the sky. So this is what the moon and Mars will look like at about 6 p.m. If I jump ahead to 7 p.m., we can see... oh. We have to center in on the moon here first. All right, so there we are at 6 p.m. Let's jump ahead to 7 p.m. We can see that Mars appears to get closer to the moon. Actually, it's the moon is orbiting the Earth, but it will look like Mars is getting closer to the moon. The, this is at about 7 p.m. At about 8 p.m., they'll be even closer. And at 9 p.m., they're going to be right next to each other. Now, at around 9.15, we're going to see an occultation. Occultation is a fancy astronomy word that means when one object is blocked from view of an, from another object. Uh, the most famous example of a occultation would be a solar eclipse. A solar eclipse like we had last year is a type of occultation where the moon blocks out the sun. But here, the moon will be occulting the planet Mars, so we'll see an occultation. So if you start watching at about 9 o'clock... Right by about 9.15, you'll see Mars disappear by the moon. Now, it's going to be very cold outside. I wouldn't recommend standing outside the entire time. But if you wait for about an hour and 15 minutes, when we get to about 10.30 or 10.15, uh, let's see, yeah, right around 10.30, you'll be able to see Mars come back, appear to come from back out from behind the moon. Again, we're watching the moon's motion here as the moon orbits the Earth. It's moving through the sky. Mars is also moving, but its movement is, isn't as fast relatively in the sky as the moon is. So, really neat thing to see on Monday, January 13th, at about 9.15 is when the occultation will begin. And then at about 10.30, you'll be able to see Mars come out from behind it. If you want to learn more about Mars, Mars right now is at its closest to Earth that it is in its about two-year cycle. Um, and um, we, what we call opposition. And so in the planetarium this week, uh, Thursday, January 9th, there are regular scheduled planetarium shows, our 5.30 show. Um, is called Two Small Pieces of Glass. It's a movie presentation about the history of the telescope. And then our 7 p.m. show is going to be all about Mars. I'll talk a little bit more about this occultation, and then I'll talk more about why Mars is so bright right now and how, bars, how bright Mars can get. And we'll go visit Mars and see a bunch of different things. If you'd like to come see one of our shows, go to methacton.org slash planetarium, and you can find uh, ticket reservations there for our public shows. Even if you can't join us, try to step outside on Monday, January 13th, and see if you can see this neat occultation in the sky. Don't forget to look up, be amazed, and be excellent to each other. Have a great day.